severe tropical storm uh, uh, made landfall over uh, Maconacon, Isabela earlier today to give us updates on the situation in the province. Isabela Governor Rodolfo Albano III is joining us on the line. Governor Albano, welcome uh, to the big yes. story. Yes, good evening, Robbie. Good evening, Gretchen. Good evening. Apa, good evening so, also to, uh, to everyone. Mm, uh, good evening, Paul, and uh, good that you could be with us. We know it's very busy um, uh, time for, for you. We've been getting some updates from our people on the ground as well as, as well as from the NDRMC, but we'd like to get a sense also of the impact on agriculture, Cagayan Valley being so important as a food bowl, especially for the grains, particularly for corn. We're one month away from, harvest, uh, for a, from a harvest cycle in, in Cagayan. What is your assessment, sir, of the storm's impact on, on agriculture in your region? So I have to assess it tomorrow, no? Uh, because uh, as I've seen, uh, no, I, I, I've been going around the northern part of the province, which is affected by the history, no? I'm sorry, parang uh, nag-e-echo yung voice ko sa inyo. Malinaw naman po kayo dito. Malinaw kayo on our end. Ah, yeah, sorry. So, so, sorry, ah. Pero nag-e-echo dito kasi yung voice ko pabalik. Mm. Uh, anyway, um, I've been, I've been attending it, ano, na, ano, there are no, there, there's very minimal damage as of now for our crops, ano, especially for, hello? Sige lang pa, we can hear you, sir. Yeah, yes, okay. Especially corn, no? As with regard to palay naman, they're, they're just planting now. Eh. The, the planting season is uh, this, uh, this September, no? So, ano so there's not much damage to our uh, to our palay crops, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but what would you say is your biggest need at this point, Governor? Uh, actually, it's Cagayan that's heavily damaged, you know? mm. uh, uh, that was heavily hit by the typhoon. You know? we, we in the northern part of Isabela, uh, we were hit by the typhoon, but not that much. You know? mm. But our, uh, Makunakon, I don't know about Makunakon, because the landfall was there. Uh, it started there in Makunakon, in Bilacan, in Palanan, you know? and they evacuated already at about 150 families, uh, equivalent to 380 individuals. The impact of the typhoon here in Northern Isabela, I don't know if we'll feel it by tomorrow. Okay? Papa. Sir, can you give Hello. us uh, on, on a final note, uh, an overview of uh, the situation there when it comes to our evacuation centers, as well as yung mga binabantayan po natin ng mga river, yung Cagayan, tsaka yung Pinakawan River? Yeah. Yung Cagayan River and Pinakawan River, and heavily affected yung northern part ng Isabela, but toward Tagayan already. Mm -hmm. I've heard some flooding in Tugegarao at Pio. But here in my area, in northern Isabela, the overflow bridges uh, have already overflown, no? but uh, there's no damage pa to our crops. The floodwaters are uh, rising, but in a very slow pace pa here in uh, northern Isabela. But we've been evacuating people along the river banks na. And we've been giving relief, uh, relief goods, and especially, especially, you know, uh, uh, what this, uh, Padcor has already sent to us 24,000 relief, relief pack. Meron po ba tayong estimate, Governor, ng mga tao na nasa evacuation center? How many families? No, uh, in Makunakon, there's about 150 families, which is equivalent to 380 individuals. Ano? In the Bilacan, there's one barangay there, uh, barangay di Mapula. Uh, they have already evacuated uh, a lot of people there. Uh, but I can't give you an estimate of how many people were evacuated in the Bilacan because we're just uh, coordinating with them uh, through home patch. You know? Sometimes the signal, the signal that has go through uh, the Bilacan because that's, the, that's our coastal areas. Hello? 
All right, maraming maraming salamat yeah. po, Governor. Uh, it's good to hear that things are not as bad in uh, Isabela and we hope things continue on that way and we won't keep you any longer. Maraming salamat, Isabela Governor Rodolfo Albano III.